This is my first cubist drawing. Here I have distorted the face by moving the, re the ear down and connecting these lines and making the eyes look like a different shape in, cu in a cubist style. Here, the hair is, has swells in it, which is more cubist and unnatural. Here is a natural hair. This, so it looks half cubist, half natural. Here, here is my experiment of of my drawing with the colours. Here I have used an orange colour scheme because they are family colours and they complement each other. Here I have done purple and green. Purple and green are opposite colours but they complement each other perfectly. Here I've done the lines to match the hair. This fits with the fit with that colour scheme. And here I've done a green lines to fit with the orange colour scheme because orange and green go very nice together. Here is my ex favourite experiment of background. Um, I didn't choose this for my real one though because um, for my final because it takes away the the picture it takes away the the feel out of the picture because the picture wouldn't have no character if that was the background. Here is my experiment of my uh, my evaluation of my experiment. Um, I've chosen which colour scheme goes with which, like A goes with B, so and the A goes with two and one, and there's there's two and there's one, so they all fit together nicely. Here was my drawing evaluation. This is what I'm going to change. I'm going to make the hair look more cubist on this side to match the other side. I'm going to draw the background in when I'm going to my final and I'm going to add some pattern into the arms, some lines to fit in with that bit. Here is my first drawing that I showed you at the beginning but I've changed the hair to match with the other hair and I've also added detail onto the arm and neck. Here's my final drawing. I've added character into the eyes to make it look more realistic and I've made the Jack Wills stand out by using a black oil pastel. I've also done the square background so it looks, it gives it a feel to the creative side and I have used purple and pink lines here to, so the head stands out and the arms here so the arms stand out. Here is my evaluation of my final. Here is where I've compared my, my cubist artwork to other cubist artwork, such as Weeping Woman, Pablo Picasso. I think my work links to Pablo Picasso's Weeping Woman because they are similar, because we have both distorted and simplified our drawings. In relation to George Brack, both our drawings are simple. Here I've written about... How, why I think my my uh, my final is good, um, because of my colours complementing each other, and I found my um information and ideas of a cubist start from um the QR codes, the research, and Miss Caprani's um example. Here I'm at. Here's what level I think I am. On using my colour scheme, I think I'm a 5C to a 5B because I've used a range of different colour schemes in my work. Um, for my information, I think I'm a 5C or a 5B because I used a wide range of information, as I've just told you, the Q QR code, the um, the examples that were given, Miss Capani's example and the information 
what I found on the internet. Um, for I'd be i beginning to modify my work because um I just started the face and changed the hair so they were both the same. So I think I'm a five C in that one. And for my A five, I think I really I've related my work to other cubist artists. So five B there, I think. Thanks for listening. And I've just forgot for A three. I I can't really get a, a higher level than a four A because I've only used oil pastels and a pencil. Thanks.